Fear of the dark, fear of spiders, fear of ghosts and ghouls, fear of the monster under the bed. These are childhood fears that most of us have grown up with and mostly grown out of. But there seems to be one fear that we have developed as we've grown as adults, and that is the fear of asking for help. So why is it that as adults we get anxious, become paralysed, lose the courage or get scared to ask another person for any kind of help? As children we're taught to ask for help, be it from our parents, teachers or other elders. We're taught to ask for help when we're stuck with a problem or when we're unsure of what to do. As adults we still face problems, we get stuck and at times we don't know what to do. So why is it do we stop asking for help? There's several reasons. The fear of looking weak, the fear of losing face, the fear of being judged, or the fear of seeming less than what we really are. These reasons are our self-limiting beliefs that stop us from moving forwards, that stop us seeking what it is we wish to achieve, and that stop us from asking for help. Be it at work or in life, coaching can help to address self-limiting beliefs. I'll go on to explain some steps that I believe can help you in the first instance to ask for help. Step one, awareness. It's important to understand that at some point you may need to seek help and to be consciously aware of when you might need it. Step two, the ask. Once you're aware that you need help, it's important to know that what it is that you want to help with. Knowing what you want to help with, you will then be able to articulate the right questions. Step three, preparation. Now you know what to ask, it's important to let the person you want to speak with know what you wish to request their help with. This way they will be better prepared to possibly aid you or make an alternate suggestion. It's especially important to avoid wasting anyone's time. Step four, take deep breaths. Although you may be clear on what you need to ask, there may still be a level of anxiety. By taking slow, deep breaths, this will make you feel calmer and speak clearer and reduce your levels of anxiety. Step five, visualize and go for it. Imagine yourself asking the question and getting a positive response. With that confidence, you just need to jump in and ask what it is that you need answering. And I'll let you in on a secret. The majority of people love to help. Step six, gratitude. Always make sure to thank the person that has helped you. This will make them feel appreciated, their time valued, and they will be more inclined to help you again next time. There are some of us who would find these steps a challenge, but as with anything new, it's all about putting it into practice. If the fear of asking for help paralyzes you, let me help you learn to let go of that fear. I'm Dr. Rakesh Rana, The Clear Coach. Thank you for watching.